What's going on YouTube fam? Micah here shooting another high adventure video. Back out here on the beautiful coast of South Carolina, getting ready to hunt down some bait for some surf fishing later this afternoon. We've had like a week of really nice weather. So fingers crossed the surf fishing should be pretty good. Now, one of the things that I've learned why people like to fish during low tide is because of all that right there. You guys see all that grass behind me? What happens is, is when the tide is low, the minnows and the shrimp can't hide in that grass. So they're all forced into these muddy banks along these like little clam beds and stuff like that. So the game fish come out and they just basically have a heyday. But when that tide comes up, you know, three, four feet, as you can see there, all those little bait fish stuff move right back up into those, the grasses. And it's, it's number one, hard to get bait fish then because they're all sitting back up there and you can't throw a cast net into the grass. But then number two, it seems like the big fish or the game fish, they kind of key in on the low tide because they know that's when the bait fish is most vulnerable. This bank right here, I think this is where we're gonna start. You know, guys, I could save a lot of time and just buy bait at the store. But to be honest with you, there's nothing quite like fresh bait, especially it seems like when you're ocean fishing. So we've got our, I believe this is a six foot cast net. This might be eight. No, I think this is a six foot cast net. So let's get started. All right, if you guys have watched any of my last couple videos here at the beach, you know that the cast netting skills are getting there, but still a work in progress. So we're just gonna kinda have to keep working on it here today. A lot of trial and error, basically. <sighs> like that, a lot of error, some trial. We're getting there. <laughs> hey, well that wasn't a bad throw, except everything jumped over there. Anything? Oh, we got a pinfish, check it out. A pinfish. It's funny, so many people were like, I can't believe you let the pinfish go when I caught some in one of my last videos. It's funny because when I went out fishing one time, we literally just caught like dozens of these here along the coast. Really pretty. They're like a kind of almost like a sea perch. I think they call them like a sea perch, actually. So we'll keep him. That way I don't get mobbed by everybody in the comment section. So there you go, folks. The, per the uh, pinfish is in the live well. Don't come at me, please. Holy cow, that's where they all were now. They all just went jumping right as I threw that. Hey, we got something in there. Well, we got clams, clam shells. I think we got another pinfish. Yeah, another pinfish. Well, that's bait at the very least. Oh no, we had something else in there. Oh, we got two pin. Don't like catching the clams. Holy cow, no, we've got a bunch of pinfish. We got three of them in here. Four, five. Good grief. Check it. More pinfish. Come here. They're spiny, so I gotta be kinda careful. Gotta get all these out. That'll tear your net up right there. Another little one. We'll go ahead and keep another one. We'll drop them in there. I'm gonna go ahead and keep a few of them here. Drop them in. There we go. We'll let these other guys go though. Somebody said like in Florida, they pay for this kind of bait. Which is crazy because it's all over here in South Carolina. There we go. Wait, wait, oh, now we got some. No, we got some mullet now, here we go. Woo! Mullet on the deck, mullet on the deck. This is what we're after right here. That's the candy we're looking for. And there's a third one. And I think we got another, oh yeah, we got, got a couple more hiding up here. We got a pinfish, and I've already got three. So we'll just let him go. All right, load the cooler now. Finally we found him. Took me a quick minute, though. All right, let's get after some more here. Pacing them down. Let's see. Get any on that throw? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did. A little bit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I got a big one. And a pinfish. Look at that. It's probably about six inches long. Definitely a couple inches longer than the ones we've been getting. Throw him in here too. You know, oh look, see he already jumped out. There we go. There we go. Let's get this going. We've got quite a bit of bait now. Or enough at least for a day's worth of surf fishing. 
We might go try to hunt down some shrimp next before this tide comes in too high. Check that out. Oh, there. There's some bait. That's what I'm talking about right here. Fast pour. Everybody in. Oh, I lost one. Dang it. It's okay. We'll get more. Let's keep throwing. Get a few more. See if we can get on some shrimp. And then go get to the beach. Ooh, I thought I saw some shrimp over there jumping. Right as this hit the water. Oh my word, we got a, do we have a crab in here? Oh my heavens, we got a blue crab. Oh, nice. Oh my word. That's a first. Whoa. Big old blue crab. Look at that. Yeah, he's like, come at me, bro. That's, that is the pose of come at me, bro, right there. That's like the definition. Those big meachy claws. Look how blue that is. Now I just gotta figure out how to. You know what? Actually, here, here. Grab onto this. Here, grab that. Ah! Yeah, uh, yeah, but you can't grab it. Come on. There you go. All right, I don't know if it's legal to keep a crab that you catch with a cast net. I know you can't keep like game fish and stuff, but I'm gonna have to look that up. So while we look that up, actually. Got another compartment here in my Hobie. We're gonna open that up. Have him grab onto this. I do not want to mess around with those. There you go. Come on, into the bucket. There you go. Now just let go. That's called crab wrangling 101 right there, ladies and gentlemen. Definitely a keeper. Now just give me, no, give me this back. Come on. Now, I need the cast net, bro. I need the cast net. Huh, that's a nice looking crab. Those claws definitely have some meat in them. Come on, thank you. All right, we're gonna look up the rules and regs on that. Here, see if we can keep them. That'd be a bonus, that's awesome. There's a better throw. Right next to the bank. There's shrimp in the area. That ought to get them, I would think. Oh yeah, there are shrimp in the area. <laughs> Yeah, there are shrimp shrimp there. Yes. Drop them on the deck. Drop them on the deck. There we go. Oh yeah, shrimp on the deck. Get it back in there, get it back in there. No time to waste. Another saw, oh yeah, there are shrimp jumping all over right here. They're jumping all over. Oh, we're in the bang zone for shrimp, ladies and gentlemen. Oh heavens, yes. Now we're cooking. Oh yeah. Now we're cooking. We found them. We found them. Took me a minute. Oh, a bunch of them all the way up in here. Come on. Drop to the deck. Oh, we got shrimp on the deck now. Oh, yes. Yes, sweet. Here we go, another good, okay, not good throw, but it's good enough for shrimp. I guarantee you we got some in this net again. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, get some of the mud off. Oh yeah, we got shrimp shrimp, ladies and gentlemen. Oh yes. Oh yeah. Nice. Took me a little bit to find them, but we're finding them now. Right where this little creek is right here, guys. In fact, we should probably move off this a little bit. Let me show you what we got here. Good grief. Look at all this shrimp down here. Let me look at that. White shrimp is what they call these. Oh, oh here's a big one. Look at this guy. Ooh, that's eating, eating right there. That's awesome. Tons of white shrimp. Let me just look at them all on the deck here. Got them everywhere. Now it's just like candy. Just toss them in. Come on, everybody. Join the shrimp party in the boat. Holy cow, I have a ton of them right down in here. Getting ready to escape as soon as I open that hatch. Oh, this is so cool. Man, I just love the ocean for stuff like this. I mean, this is just so cool. All right, look at that. Oh, yeah. That is what I'm talking about right there. Look at that. Look at all them shrimp. Woo! I'm going to get these guys back. Probably get them on ice. Because I don't want them to die in the cooler. Because we're going to be cooking up some shrimp. Fresh shrimp. Oh, there's the biggest one right there, too. Look at that. That is a big boy. Fresh shrimp right off the Carolina coast. 
oh man it does not get any better than that right there guys that is going to taste so sweet we're going to go ahead and get these guys back i'll bet we've got probably close to around 100 of them and then i think what we're going to do is we've got plenty of shrimp now and we got plenty of bait that tide's starting to come back in now and we've got for about the next five hours or so would be my guess i'm not sure what time it is but probably about the next five hours that tide is going to continue to come in so let's go ahead and go find ourselves a spot along the beach see if we can get some of these big fish with the little fish we caught this morning look at that you guys see what i'm saying that tide's coming in look that water's starting to hit that reed level all that bait fish those shrimp are gonna start moving up into those weeds getting away from the predator fish so we're leaving perfect time now all right we are at our beach We've got a little bit of a walk ahead of us but before we do that we are going to go ahead get our shrimp out and i can already see them they're starting to not look 100 percent oh actually why am i pouring the water out just grab them oh, i don't want a shrimp in the hole that'll stink we're gonna grab all our shrimp here we are just going to toss them right in the Ziploc bag. Look at all that. Oh, man. That is going to taste good. There we go. Look at that. A bag of shrimp. Now I have a cooler here. I'm just going to set them just like that right on top. Get some ice. Put them right on ice. Now the other thing we're going to do too is we're going to dump that water out. And we have our little crab here. Let me go. Oh, fire ants right there. Oh, 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 one on me. I didn't get bit, but they down there. Look at that. Now those are fire ants right there. Ooh. I was stepping right on them. Be careful of that. Ooh. There we go. All right, all right. Woo. Come on, I'm trying to get them into the cooler. That's the ultimate goal here. Aha! Ooh, almost got me. That's wild. This dude's wilding right now. There we go. Come on. Right in there. There we go. All right. We sit on ice. Boom. There we go. Now, we're keeping this guy because I looked up everything that I could online about catching crabs accidentally with a cast net. And I could not find anything on, like, the South Carolina website, their fishing game website or anything. And I'm thinking that, like because it's cra a crab and you can catch crabs with like hoop nets which is like regular nets um with little pieces of twine i mean pretty much any kind of net they don't specifically mention cast nets that i could find but pretty much like any other net method you can catch crabs with um i'm thinking we're gonna be okay i do know that if you accidentally catch like game fish with the cast net like if you caught like a redfish with the cast net you have to throw it back but I think the crabs, like, the only thing is it's got to be over, what was it, like five inches, and it can't be a female with eggs. So that's definitely not a female with eggs. In fact, it's a male, and that's like six and a half inches long. So we're good that way, so we'll hopefully enjoy a little crab later on. All right, got our bait, got our fishing stuff. Let's go see what this beach looks like here. Holy cow, guys. I see somebody, there's somebody set up with fishing rods down there. There's another little point down there. We've got this little point all to ourselves here. Not even anybody swimming. So let's see what we can do. Oh, pumped. I had a subscriber tell me that with these rod holders, you can push them down. But then if you want them to go in further, you actually just suck the air out of them. Oh yeah, that does work. You just like suck the air out and they just push right into the sand. Oh, that was awesome. Hey, thank you. Subscribe. Well, I put it in at the wrong angle. Let's try that again. But thanks to the subscriber who gave me that hot tip. All right, rods are set. You know, I probably should get like a net so I can grab these fish out. Oh, there's the big one. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. All right, we got a little live mullet here. Well, okay, come here. All right, on the bigger rod, whoa, we're gonna do a little live mullet. There we go, we got a circle hook, go right through the eyes just like that. On this, I've got 25 pound test line with a 50 pound mono leader. 
four ounce sinker. You know what, I say 25 pound test, that actually might be 30. Yeah, he is nice and wiggly. That's exactly what we want. Let's get him out there. Perfect. I'm seeing bait fish hitting the surface. We'll loosen the drag on that as well. Hopefully that'll get to screaming. All right, one rod out. All right, now with the second rod, we're gonna do a little cut bait. Whoa, there goes one. Holy cow. This'll do. Ah. Ouch, poke me. We're actually gonna cut this guy in half. Use half a mullet on the smaller rod here. On this rod, we also have a circle hook, four ounce seeker, and this is just straight 25 pound test line and 25 pound uh, leader. So it's all the same. Perfect. Let's see what that can do. Guys, big rod, this is the live, this is the live. We got one. Still on? We got something. Yeah, we got him. I don't know what it is. Just doubled over. Oh. Uh. Woo! <laughs> oh, baby. Surf fishing. That was cool. Please don't be a stingray. Do stingray eat? Do stingray eat live mullet? What is that? Oh yeah, this is a shark. This is a shark. We got a shark on the live mullet. Come here, baby. Come on. Yes. Look at this. All right, nice and easy. Oh, what do we got? What do we got? Is this just an Atlantic sharp nose? If that's the case, we're eating shark tonight. Oh, it's a nice one too. It's a nice one. Oh yeah. Come here. It looks like it. It looks like an Atlantic sharp nose. Come on, right up on the beach. Come on. Yeah. Oh, this is awesome. This is what I'm talking about. Woo. All right, grab my. Right. Well, 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 no, 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 no. I had a subscriber also tell me the last time I caught a shark, he said, do not grab them by the tail. They can reach back and bite their own tails and they will reach back and bite you. Oh man, that's like a two plus footer. We'll measure it up. Yes. Woohoo! Okay. Yeah, she ain't happy with me. She is not happy with me. You like that mullet though, didn't you? All right. Uh, let's get fishing rod picked up here. So the regulations on these this year is one per person per day. And we can get some shark steaks off this guy. That is awesome. All right, let's get that hook out. Right. Guys, exactly three feet long, 36 inches. So that's awesome. That is awesome. We're gonna get some shark steaks off of this. That is so cool. That live herring, just that rod. That's the cool thing about using like the live bait. When something takes that, there's no bouncing around in the surf. Like that rod just, it, it, it bent, it bent. All right, we're gonna get this cleaned, get them into our cooler full of ice, get those lines back out there. All right, bringing them back. All cleaned, he's gutted. Uh, there we go. Hey, join the crab and the shrimp. Hey, anyway, look at that. Barely even fits into my cooler. I went out and bought a big cooler when I moved down here. Specifically for, you know, potentially catching stuff like this. Now, I had a local guy tell me, actually I've had several people tell me, when you catch a shark, if you're going to eat it, you want to clean it immediately. Because apparently they urinate through their skin which I have no idea if that's true or not, but I've had like two guys tell me that. And they said, you want to clean them or else they can make the meat go bad. You want to clean them fast. Otherwise the meat can go bad. So like, if you're going to keep it, bam, gut him immediately and you're good to go. All right. Ah, no, come back here. We need another live one. 
Aha. Oh, he almost had him. I really need a net. Aha. Oh, there's a shrimp in there. We gotta throw that in. Oh, that's what's getting it done right there. Oh, that's what got it done, I should say. Come here, you. The seagulls starting to surround. They're like, hey -o. I hear you got food. Get out of here, you bums. Boom, just like that. Nice and wiggly. Back out she goes. Nice. All right, y'all. Victory drink. Ah, after catching that shark. We've only been here for like 25 minutes. That's a great sign. This one right here is the thrashed apple. Their new flavor. Oh man, that is so good. Tastes like a green apple. That's definitely moving into my top three Mountain Dews of all time. All right, y'all, on the smaller rod, I have half of that pinfish, one of the pinfish that we caught in the cast net earlier. Look at that. I have people telling me they're catching redfish on them, sharks on them, pretty much anything on them, so we'll see. Acres away. Nice. I want to check this big rod. I think we've had a couple of bites on this live mullet again. See if he's still on there. Oh my heavens, look at this, look at this. Oh guys, look at that. Ooh, it's a bad day for him. Check that out. Live mullet no longer. He got bit, well, most of him gone. Woo! Yikes. I think we might switch both of these rods to the live mullet. That's a second good hit. One fish and a real good hit there. There we go. Oh yeah, look at that. That was all moving around. All right, y'all, check this out. Here's the head. That is all that's left of that pinfish. We threw out there, look at that. He's been chewed on. I don't know if that's crabs. I don't know if that's something else taking a bite out of him. But I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go double double live mullet now guys just got a bite just got a bite here good bite live mullet again there he is there he is come on it's the kind of the action i there he is. did i get him oh i think i got him i think i did we get him we get him we got something i think i think we got something yeah we got something on here i don't know what it is oh what is it what is it he's jumping what is that? Wait, is this a Spanish mackerel? Is this a Spanish mackerel? Oh, what is this? What is this? Woo! Guys, look at that. Look at this. Tell me what that is. Wait, what is that? I have no idea. It's probably about 13 inches long would be my reckoning. What is that? Huh, I'm gonna have to go to the book. Guys, my other rod's getting a bite. Holy cow, oh, lost my hat. Can't lose the hat of high adventure. He's on there. We got him, we got him. I don't know what it is. Might be the same thing we just caught, I don't know. Woo, I just dropped that other fish in the bucket. He's not very big again. Might be the same thing. No, it's a baby shark. This is a baby shark. Oh my word. That is a small shark right there. Man, they are just annihilating the live mullet. Ah, there. Look at that. Little baby. That's about the size of the one I caught and kept the first time. There we go. Woo, man, that's some action right there. He's probably about 16 inches long. This ocean's just teeming with life right now. We're almost at the high tide and we got stuff for days. There she goes. Hey, wrong way, wrong way. Out that way, there you go. Woo, let's get baited up. Let's get back out there. Ooh, this is fun. This is fun. All right, you savages, here you go. There's the head of one. There you go. Now, leave me alone. Actually, that was dumb. If I wanted him to leave me alone, I shouldn't have fed him. Look at that. That's what's bringing him in. Let's get it back out there. Guys, guys, we got another fish right here. Holy cow, oh, she's taking line. 
Oh my goodness. Whoa. Oh, oh, did she just, oh, she just came off. She just threw the hook. Holy cow. Whoa. That mullet wasn't out there for five minutes. Good grief. Whatever it was, she just started screaming with it. Oh man. Dang it, man. My whole, my whole, my whole setup just busted off. My whole setup just busted off. Might've been a shark. I don't know. Oh my word, I can't barely get two lines in the water right now. Ah, can't believe that broke off. Just get another one out there. That's all we can do. Man, these fish are active right now. They are super active. We were, I barely saw that bite. Just looked over, my rod was bent. Good thing the drag was loose. Holy cow, we're getting bit, guys. Woo, we got him on here. We got him. We got him. Ha <laughs> ha, on the live mullet. Getting it done again. Woo. Oh, did she come off? Oh, it came off, dang it. Oh, shoot. Oh, man, look at that. Just ate it in half. Oh, my word. Guys, strike two. Just ate or just bit the mullet in half and got off. Dang it. Can't be missing fish, man. All right, y'all, from what I've been able to tell in my research and looking up photos is that this is a bluefish. And apparently you have to clean them properly in order to eat them. Um, I don't know. There's really no size limit here. There is no size limit. Um, I just checked. I don't know, he's kind of small though. So I think we might go ahead and just let this one go. He's probably about eh, 13 inches long. So, I mean, nice little fish. Some people like to eat them, it seems like. Uh, and then some people think they have a really fishy flavor. So apparently they're really oily. We'll go ahead and just drop him back in. Let's see if he takes off here or not. Yeah, he's cut, he's, well, I don't see him bellying up. So I guess that's a good sign. <laughs> we'll let him go. That was cool though. Got yeah, the first for me. Bite here guys, he's got a good bite here. Gonna check the bait on this one. Hold up, do we have something? Wait, we got something. We got something. I think we have a fish. Oh no. Well, I think we have something. Yeah, I, there's something on here. Oh yeah, we got something. What is this? What do we have? Oh, oh, oh a little shark. <laughs> How about that? Baby shark number two or three. Real baby. <laughs> I thought I, I got bit. He's just swimming around down there with the four ounce sinker. Man, quite the day for sharks. There we go. Just another little, uh... Ooh, there he goes. Another little Atlantic, Atlantic shark nose. There it is. Guys, I just got to bite here. Got him. Got him. There it is. There you go, there we go. Don't know what it is. Feels like it's a decent size though. Just don't be a stingray. That's all I ask. Guys, the locals, like you catch stingrays. L local people are like, nah, that's not a catch. That's not a fish. <laughs> Whoa, my guess is that's a shark the way that's thrashing around out there. Come on, oh yeah, another shark. Another shark, this is awesome. Man, they are just absolutely annihilating. Annihilating this live mullet. This is crazy. They love it. Woo! Boy, she's going nuts. Come here. Right about as big as the one that we kept. That uh, might be a little bigger. Might be a new personal best right here, guys. Yeah. There we go. Looks like another 
Atlantic shark nose. Awesome. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. Whoa. What a fish. Woo. Well, this guy's kind of a brute here. Oh, look at that, right, that hook. Oh, I look at that. All right, check, check this out, check this out. Look at that, right, right there, look at that. That hook is right, like, almost like on the tongue. You can see those teeth right in there. I don't know if I can pick that up on my camera, but whoo, it is right there. There we go. See if he beats the last one I caught. That's 40 inches, beats the last one by four inches. New personal best for me. That's awesome. Get her back in. Whew. All right. There you go. Oh yeah, she got no problem. There she goes, check it out. She is nice. There she goes. Plenty of those cruising around out there. She'll make her way out. Cool. Guys, yeah, look at the size of that one. That's not like, that's like six inches. We're gonna try a little bit bigger one on this heavy rod. See if we get a bigger fish. There we go, guys. Just like that. There's a big one. Set the drag low. Oh my heavens, look at that. Holy cow. Oh, oh my word. We just got lit up right here. I thought I was getting a bite. Oh my word. Oh my goodness. Good grief. Oh, she's running. She is not happy. Ooh, this is a big one. Whatever this is, this is a nice size. Oh my word. All right, got her, got her stopped. Now she's coming back. Look at that rod. This is a heavy, this, this, I don't know. This might be a ray. Oh, it just came off. Oh no. It just broke the line. Might, might've been like another shark. Good grief guys. We are, it's, we're right at peak high tide. Oh my word. Line just broke clean. Just broke clean. I have no idea. Probably, probably another shark would be my guess. If it just snapped the line, that, that could have been what it was. Oh man, man, that was bent. That rod was bent. All right, y'all, we are right past the high tide point. Oh, look at that, we're getting bit. Look at that, you see that? Something just nailed it. Something just nailed it, let's go. Boy, there are fish in the area, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, there it is. Got him, got him. Oh my gosh, this is like non-stop action. Good grief, this is on the big one. It doesn't feel like a very big fish. What do we got? It's coming right in. That's another blue fish. It's another blue fish, look at this. Oh my goodness, a little bit bigger. Nice. Bigger than the last one we caught. That's crazy. Man, they, their fish are just super active right now. Just hammering fish. Hey! I like the shirt, man. This is a, called a blue fish. They're not very good to eat. You guys wanna to touch it? How, how, he's like up. Yeah, he is kind of shaking. He is like slimy. Yeah, should we put him back in the water? Yeah. Yeah, let's see that. All right, man, you wanna let him go? Yeah. There you go. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, pick him up. Grab it really hard right there because it kind of forks out. There you go. There you go. Nice. Nope, nope. Oh, there you go. He's almost in. You just kind of push him in. There you go. Got a little bit out, out a little deeper. Nice. There he goes. He'll make it out. Hey, thanks. Look at this. I've got one of those pinfish on alive and whole. We're gonna toss that out there on the smaller rod because we like to live life dangerously. See if we come up with anything with that. Definitely has more spikes on it, so don't know if that's gonna put the fish off or not, but we'll just find out. Oh guys, we're getting bit on this. This is the pinfish. This is the pinfish. This is the pinfish. Come on, 
check the bait. That was a good bite. No, we don't have some. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at that. Nothing says shark like that. Check that out. That's like the perfect bite out of that thing. Good grief. That was definitely a baby shark right there. Guarantee it. All right, a sand dollar. Wow. Oh, there's a big bite. Oh, that's a piece of bait. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh, well, oh, he just broke. He just broke. Just broke off another sand dollar. Whoa, cool. Two sand dollars. Oh, my goodness. We just got a big old bite. He was just stripping drag and the line just cut. That's got to be, that's got to be a shark, right? Like stripping drag. I look up. Rod's just bent. And then it just, it just snaps. Just bink, just pops right off. I didn't jerk it. I didn't do any. Oh, wait, no, I've still got my bait on. What? How does that work? Dude, I think he's still alive too. Oh my word. Well, we got to get it back. How? Dude, you're a one lucky little fish. That's all I got to say. Lucky or unlucky. I don't know. He's still kicking. I, I don't know. No, he doesn't even look like he's touched a hair on his head either. All right, we got to get back out there. One last fish. This is literally my last piece of bait, y'all. My last piece of bait. Get him out there one last time. Check that out. I'm gonna bring that home to my little girl. She'll love that. Intact. That's pretty. Got like a pink, pinkish purple to it. I guess that's more purple. Very cool. Whoa, that was a whole one. Check that out, y'all. Anybody inside? Hello, hello. No, <laughs> that's empty and it's together. Man, my little girl's gonna love that. I'll let her paint that or something. <laughs> that's cool. Now we're finding shells. Does this day get any better? All intact and everything. This is pretty cool. Kind of a nice way to end the day here. Picking up a few shells. Missed that nice bite though. Hopefully whatever that was will come back. That was crazy. I've never seen, I've never been taken like that. And then like the mullet is just totally undisturbed. It's still alive. It's like not even missing anything. I have no idea what would have done that. I don't think that could have been a shark. A shark would have torn that up. I think, I don't know. Guys, I thought I just saw a really cool shell right here. Oh, there it is. Aha. Whoa, look at that one. Good grief. That's a big one right there. Whew. That's pretty cool. Look at that. Wow. That's pretty. All right, y'all. I think that does it for us today. I've run out of bait officially. Just checked both lines and both of them were picked clean. So I think that means it is time for supper. So we're going to go ahead and head on back to the truck and start cooking up some fresh shrimp. Oh, I forgot we had that crab too. Shrimp, crab, and shark. Just a medley from the ocean. Oh boy. What is this? A parking citation? For what? Holy cow, a hundred bucks. I wanna know what for. Park, Isle of Palms Police Department. Uh, it doesn't say violation 20 dash rpr that is definitely by far the biggest fine i've ever received for anything <laughs> 100 bucks good grief like what okay hold up that's weird though because this sign says beach access like this whole area right here this is beach access no parking up there but there are obviously like little parking spots right here there's nothing that says no parking youtube fam your boy just got smacked for a hundred bucks. Good grief. You know, we may as well just stay here and cook uh, <laughs> to make up for, I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna have to look up the citation, but I'm gonna guess I probably have to have like something hanging in my window or something to be able to park here. That's my only guess. Um, but we'll file this away because I don't want it to double to 200 bucks in 30 days. Good 
grief. All right, y'all, change of plans. I decided to bring everything back here to my deck because actually the house I was parked next to, they started a party like right as I was getting ready to cook and they were blasting music and stuff and I just thought, ah, I don't wanna mess with this. So we brought everything back here. Plus then I could show the kids the shark and the crab and the shrimp because I've got two little ones and they just get a kick out of that kind of stuff. Just gonna kind of attack this like you would filleting anything else except it ain't got no bones. That skin is tough. Good knit. Yeah, you see that? It's pretty cool, huh? What's his bones doing? Well, actually it's all cartilage. Cartilage? Yeah, it's called cartilage. Can you say cartilage? <laughs> That's a pretty good try. There you go. Look at that. Check that out. It does like close to two feet long. That's just one side too. All right. We got our two shark fillets here. There's one. Here's another. We're going to prepare these both a little bit differently. The one in the foil here, we're just going to take a little bit of butter. Actually, that's not butter. That's called a lemon, ladies and gentlemen. Write that down. Squeeze it over just a little bit right at first. Then we're gonna take some delicious Old Bay seasoning. I'm gonna sprinkle it right on that, just like so. Flip them over. Same thing on this side. There we go. Also going to add just a hint of blackened seasoning to it. Next, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take some of my fresh caught shrimp here see all that right there a like big old handful of shrimp i'm gonna put some shrimp on either side of this because we're gonna cook some shrimp this way too like that i don't know just make it look kind of fancy i guess there you go a little shrimp and shark you'd want that at a buffet right now we're gonna take our butter and we're just gonna take our butter knife because <laughs> these are legit butter knives right this is a man's butter knife right there we're just gonna take slivers of butter off we're just going to place them all up and down the filet here. There we go. Then we're going to go ahead and curl all that in. Boom. Just like that. That is ready for our grill. That's one way we're going to prepare our shark. All right. And with this filet, we're going to take some lemon juice. We're going to just kind of rub it into the meat a little bit. Last time, the first time I cooked shark, I should say. First and last time. Um, I accidentally left the shark filet in with the lemon juice for like an hour and i didn't even realize it but some everybody was kind of telling me in the in the comments of the last video that that cooks the fish the lemon juice will actually cook the fish and they call it something and i forget what it's called but uh, anyway so basically i double cooked my shark but anyway we're just gonna rub a little lemon juice into this filet then i'm gonna take a little garlic powder sprinkle it over the fish. Now I'm going to hit him with this Southern style seafood seasoning. I had a subscriber give this to me and all I've used the seafood seasoning on is freshwater fish. So I'm finally using it on a saltwater fish. Boom. That looks good right there. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and take our first shark filet over here to our pit boss, the pro series grill here, throw it right down on the grill. Now what I have done on the grill slats is I put some canola oil. You actually just like, um, take this little paintbrush here, paint some canola oil, canola oil on the actual grill slats themselves, not on the fish. And then that way your fish or your meat or whatever doesn't stick to the grill. But got that one right there. I'm gonna go ahead and grab, let's see, can I do this one handed? Oh, very precariously. Oh, just knocked the oil off. That's okay, oil didn't bust all over. Slide that guy right up top here. Hi, Miss Bella. You want to come try some shark here soon? Yes, please. All right. Hey, All right, now I'm going to open this up really quickly. We're going to add one more thing here. I'm going to be adding a little bit of fresh garlic here to this top dish. Don't need a lot. Just a little bit in there. There we go. Go ahead and bag this up. Close the lid. Get that to cooking now. Let's go cook some shrimp over here on the side. First, we'll start by throwing some lemon slices into our butter that's almost burnt. Also take some garlic, throw it in there as well. Holy cow. Yeah, it's a little hot. She's running a little hot, ladies and gentlemen. All right, now we'll just take the rest of these shrimp right here. Toss them all in. And drop some Old Bay seasoning all over everybody here. I'm going to stir these around in that. And shrimp don't take long to cook at all. 
I think we were able to catch that butter right before it started to burn. It was going brown. Caramelized, that's what we'll call it. Caramelized butter. All right, those are done. Go ahead and slide those all off right onto our plate. Ooh, that's the beginning right there. Next, we're gonna go ahead and get a pot of water going. Get that boiled up for our crab. In the pot, we'll drop the last two bits of lemon that we had. Throw in a ton of New Orleans Cajun seasoning, Team Weber, and some salt. Y'all wanna take a look at the crab here? Ooh, look at him right there. Can I see? Here, I'll get him out, look at that. Is he walking? Whoa. No, 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 He he's pretty much gone. Big old blue crab here. Let's close this lid. Watch out, Mr. Crockett. What do you guys think? That's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Can I touch him? Blue crab, you guys want to try him? Yeah, you can touch him. He won't get you. You want to try? You guys want to try some blue crab? I touched him his eye. <laughs> well, he's got a little weird eye, doesn't he? What do you think, Mr. Crockett? Yeah, so look. So do you remember what we talked about? Do you know what if that's a male or a female? Male. That's right. Good job. That's a male. Good job. We'll learn you. We'll learn you. Get a load of this action right here. Ooh, that's looking good. Hopefully that tastes good. Let's take a peek inside up here. Oh yeah, look at that. That shrimp. Really starting to cook down now. Sitting in all those juices in the bottom, the butter juice. You can kind of see it right back in there. Yeah. Woo. Not water boiling yet? Not quite. Well, we got it all going on here, ladies and gentlemen. All right, this crab is done let's see if we can fish him out here get him oh yeah there we go oh there we go got an arm look at that yeah one of these days i'm gonna get like 30 or 40 of these i'm gonna learn how to do that and we're gonna have a regular crab feast and there we go that is the last piece of the meal right there all right you guys so one of the things that we did is we actually had um a neighbor stop by so we gave the neighbor some shark and let them try some. They thought it was delicious, so that's a good sign. I've been trying to keep the kids from picking on it, but somebody has been getting after it. I, who would that be, Bella? Hmm, I don't know. Crockett. Oh, Crockett, okay, okay. Crockett, you wanna try some? Here we go. What do you think, Bella, is that pretty good? Pretty good. Oh, you need your water? Okay, let me get your water really quickly here. No, we ate some gentlemen. <gasps> Nussle, Papa's gone now, he video. It's just two of us. <laughs> we'll start eating. Two of us is this us, and Papa's gone to fish. All right. Um, feeding my baby shark some sh baby shark. What do you think, Bella? How do you like it? Do you like it? No, I'm a Bella shark. Oh, you're a Bella shark? That's fair. Look at that. That's some of that grilled shark right there. Hmm. Oh, there's a deer back there. Huck, you see the deer through there? There's a deer in our neighbor's backyard. Look at that. There's one of the bigger shrimp right there. Oops. Crockett, you want to try some crabby? No hesitation. Do you like that? Uh-uh. You want the fish? Yes. Oh. <laughs> well, the crab is kind of eh. That's fair. Crab's pretty unusual. Uh, but the shark, yeah. the shark, he's just say yuck to the shark. Here, have some shark, baby shark. Oh, uh, the deer is a distraction. Here we go. There you go. Run and be free. Well, YouTube fam, I would say that was another fantastic day of foraging and high adventure at the South Carolina coast. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me. Hope you also enjoyed the recipes. And as always, I will see you in the next one.